Finally, today begins my last week here at KVIA ABC7. I have just four work days left here in El Paso, so I'm trying to fit in all the special reports I've worked on featuring the gems of our beautiful borderland southwest. Yes, don't be that angry El Paso one that says, there's nothing to do around here, because there is, my friend. Just open your eyes and your mind and concentrate on the positive. Here's a story I shot in February when it was obviously cold, but I'm airing it now in the heat of the summer because I'm leaving soon. Got to get it in, my friends. Check it out. It is on hiking in the Gila wilderness, only about a two-hour drive from the borderland. Come here. Trekking through the Gila wilderness, whether it be with man's best friend or a solo walker jog, is like taking a hike with a hefty heap of history. Lots of hiking, uh, lots of wildlife. Wildlife and plenty of nature. When I shot this particular trip, snow. Here in Pino Saltos, just a few miles from Silver City, Daniel Bejerano says this is God's country. And whether it be winter or summer, it is always worth taking a hike. It's quite a contrast. Uh, well, being from El Paso, well, uh, we would always run to Rio Doce or Cloudcroft. This neck of the woods here is a lot more slower paced, a lot more primitive. Primitive in the surroundings. And also, if you take a stroll through the historic town of Pinos Altos, you'll be reacquainted with the Old West. Mainly in, in, in a mining town, you're going to find a lot of saloons and, and things that are related to it that come along with saloons. Like bathhouses? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Historic sites such as the Opera House and Buckhorn Saloon. Plus, another landmark from the early 1800s, Fort Cobre. And an historic museum run by George Robert Schaefer, the great grandson of a pioneer who used to run with Billy the Kid. Well, since they were buddies and friends. After strolling through the museum, I couldn't wait to get outside and continue my trek. Just a short drive away, the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. The dog friendly area allows hiking, and once you make it to the top, you'll find former cave dwellings of the Mogollon peoples. The dwellings go back to the 13th century. And later, another indigenous group called the region home. This region of New Mexico is home to the Chiricahua Apaches. In fact, they migrated to this region back in the 1500s. And this man right here, Geronimo himself, is from this region. It's said that he was born along the headwaters of the Gila River. Geronimo and his followers defended their territory from this region along the Arizona and New Mexico border all the way to El Paso, Chihuahua, and beyond with much of his base in the Gila wilderness. A vast forest. The Gila wilderness is a huge forest. A huge forest. You can enjoy whether an avid hiker in the winter or now in the dog days of summer. What you miss is I fell down uh, off that tree right there. Hey, from the dog days to the cat, as in catwalk. Yes, in the winter, the famous catwalks in the Gila National Forest are closed. But now in the summer and the fall, they are open. The catwalks are a series of trails along the mountains and over the rivers in a pristine spot in the forest. So now you have even more of an excuse to treasure the positive things to do in our own backyard, the border southwest, and in this case, the Healer Wilderness. That's it for now. I'm Paul Cicala for ABC7 Sports. Coming up after the break, Carla Huelga will have a last look at your weather. We'll be right back.